You know, receiving from God is as simple as you say yes. Sometimes you find people who struggle to receive the Holy Spirit. I'm sure some of you have met them. You pray for them to receive the Holy Spirit and they are unable. Some people have difficulty. You may pray for them many times to receive the Holy Spirit. They just wait, hoping that they say, I don't know why I can't speak in tongues. Several pastors have prayed for them. Still, they don't speak in tongues. There are three things that affect people like that. It is one of the three, or two of the three, or three of the three. Number one, it could be the problem of unbelief. Because even though you minister the word to them, they haven't believed. spirit is for them. There are things making them unbelieving. They haven't believed. Because when they believe, that miracle should happen. They should receive the Holy Spirit. The second thing is that they are waiting for something to happen. hoping that the Spirit of God will open their mouths. The Bible doesn't say the Holy Spirit spoke in tongues. The Bible says the disciples spoke in tongues. It is not the Holy Spirit that speaks in tongues. It is you. But the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit will give you the words. Not when you are quiet, when you speak. He will form the words that will come out. That's why the Bible says they spoke as the Spirit gave them others. But they did the speaking. It doesn't say the Holy Spirit spoke. So, if you wait that the Holy Spirit will form the words in your mouth, it's not going to happen. You have to speak and then the Holy Spirit will give you the utterance. Say, but how can I speak until I'm given? Ah, uh -huh, that's the miracle. That is the faith in it that you have received. How did you know you have received salvation. You said you are born again. How did you know that you have received eternal life, the life of Christ into you? It was faith. If anyone will ask you today, are you born again? You say yes. Then they ask you, how do you know? You tell them what the Bible says. That's the same way God wants you to respond to the Holy Spirit. That same faith. Same symbol. The third reason that some people don't receive, no matter how you pray for them, lay hands on them, they say, I, I can't still speak in tongues, I can't. Because they have a demonic problem where Satan is resisting. Such situations do happen to people who are not totally committed to God. For the Bible says that he gives the Holy Spirit to them that obey him. Which means you should actually be committed to him. You should give him your whole life. But as long as you want to be worldly, Satan will accommodate you. And you find that even when you want to speak in tongues, you go, ah, 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 ah. there's a resistance. The enemy is still holding you. You see, because you have given a demonic opportunity to control you. So, how do you deal with that? Cast out devils. Someone doesn't even have to do it for you. You say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Satan, you have no place in me. I command you to depart from me in Jesus' mighty name. You have no place in my life anymore. And the only way he will listen to you and obey you is because you are drawn to the Lord. The Bible says, draw nigh to God. You see? So make sure you rebuke that woman. Don't give him your, give him any opportunity in your life. 
but if you're warned and want you to warn me things and at the same time receive the Holy Spirit, then you're not ready. You must be totally committed to the Lord. So those are the three things that affect people. When they say, oh, I, I can't speak in tongues. Many people have prayed for me. Tell them straight. Be fully committed to the Lord. That's number one. Give Satan no hiding place in your life. Number two, don't wait for God to make you speak in tongues. Once you accept these truths, speak in tongues. Are you ready? Yes. Number three, act your faith. Accept that what he has done, he has done. What he says he has given you, he has given you. So the Bible says, when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Ghost came on them. So which means, when I lay hands on you, the Holy Ghost will come on you. doesn't say they felt it. They didn't have to feel anything. It's not about feeling. This hand signifies the presence of the Holy Spirit. When I laid on you, that's it. Receive. He says, okay, son. And that's it. And the full of the Holy Spirit. You have to learn to act your faith in the world. Amen. Glory to God.